welcome back to the Canna Tech uh, podcast, one of our rotating, I'm going to say rotating sharks, uh, like the uh, the TV show, or rotating analyst is probably a better way to put it. Um, Steve Gooderman from Falcon, uh, welcome back. How are you doing? I am doing well. Good to talk to you again. Thanks. Uh, so what's the state of the union from your point of view? You always have really good insight. You know, you're you're doing it every day. Um, how's how, how are things? Well, this has been an interesting year for cannabis, to say the least. Yeah. <laughs> I think what we've learned as an industry is that, yes, we are an essential I- industry. Uh, and yes, people will always buy cannabis products, but we are not recession or inflation proof. Maybe oh, resistant, wow. but not yeah. proof, right? And so, for example, in California, basket size for average transactions has gone from about one hundred and ten dollars to seventy dollars. Yeah, so that's a steep decline, right? Seriously. And 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 I think that it makes sense, right? People are, are walking into dispensaries and saying, "Look, I still want and need cannabis products, but I also need to pay for groceries and I also need to buy gas." And so, give me something potent and cheap <laughs> that 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 will suffice so uh we've definitely seen that we've seen a shift in the products that um, we're selling the most of right and so we see our full spectrum vapes flying off the shelves which is great we see um, some of our infused pre-rolls flying off the shelves because uh, people are really looking for for value they're looking for potency, yeah. interesting stuff and value. Now, for us, for us at Falcon, it's been a good year. And uh, I'm very grateful to be able to report that because not everybody can say that, right? Yeah. For us, our revenue's down this year, just like many other companies. But because we've invested in previous years so heavily in our brand and in these great products that people love, um, we've actually seen our um, profit, our profitability, our gross margins all increase. And so um, we're, we're, from a financial standpoint, having a better year in 2022 than we did in 2021. Um, but I think, like I said, we're very, we're very grateful about that. We're mindful that not everybody can say that. And we feel like it's maybe a unique byproduct of, of our model and all the work that we've done to, to, to build and fortify these brands. Man. Yeah. I'm impressed. I, uh, yeah, I'm a bottom line kind of guy, you know, the, um, in my prior life, my, my other company, people, thought we had this really big top line. Um, we we didn't. I mean, I'm glad that we projected larger than life. But what I was more proud of, Steve, not surprisingly, was the bottom line. Right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. How, how much am I walking with, man? Sure. Sure. <laughs> That's exactly right. That's exactly and, right. and in my industry, um, I didn't want to, I'm privately held and it's competitive. So I did not necessarily want to share the details, right? Now, remind me, are you publicly traded? Um, we, we are not, we are not. And certainly we would look at that as an interesting next evolution for our company. Um, so far, we have chosen not to vigorously pursue that simply because the markets didn't support it. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, and, and I think that was wise. That, that turned out to be a wise decision by us. Uh, but it certainly would be something that would be a natural next step for us. Yeah. And uh, finally, I understand I'm going to, I'm going to miss you at MJ BizCon. I'm, I'm, uh, I respect your decision. Um, You said it, maybe not the highest and best use of your time. Any, any thoughts on that and other shows or if you don't mind? (laughs) Yeah, sure. Well, look, we love MJ BizCon and we've, we've been there really in every other year and we'll be back. Uh, Just in this particular time, we're working on a bunch of very interesting and accretive projects for us. Um, I guess we hope them to be accretive. We believe in them to be accretive, right? (laughs) Can't say that in advance all the time, but we think they're, they think, we think they look good. Um, And uh, so that's, that's part of it. And the other part of it is that, uh, 
look, we've been doing this for a long time. And so most of the people that we would talk to at MJ BizCon, we're talking to anyway. But that is not to disparage the fine folk who put on MJ BizCon because it's one of the best. And we will, uh, you know, we, 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 we've gotten a lot out of previous conferences and we'll be back. Yeah, that's that's a whole nother in fact, it's for another day. It's a whole nother discussion. Um, you know, you again, you'd certainly be aware of the granddaddies of the mall show. So we had uh Comdex and now you have CES. You know, you start getting up um to that size of show. And it with Comdex in particular, it there, there were, at least with me, there were relevancy questions. It, it was a little bit like, you know, I want to go to the Super Bowl once, but it's crowded, it's expensive, you got to you got to wait in line. Um, it it, you know, it got too big, and and MJ Bizcon's going to have to be mindful of that because honestly, uh, I really like some of the smaller regional shows that are more mm-hmm. intimate. Yeah, you know, yeah. and you can't be both. <laughs> It's true. And I think that the other thing is that you need to go into any of these shows, whether they're smaller or larger, with a real strategy beforehand um, about how you're going to spend your time. And so that's that's become definitively true at conferences like uh, MJ BizCon or Benzinga, where there's so many people and then, you know, you're going to run into a bunch of people. So you got (laughs) you got to you got to plan that out a little bit in advance. All right. Well, hey, let me be the first to wish you happy holidays and a happy new year because we're going to talk to you after that. <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, always great talking. And uh, I guess we'll we'll talk soon. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Yeah.